on a couch. On a couch in a closet. Dang. On a on a couch. On a couch. On a couch. The one kid. Our first nominee for Best Revival of a Play is Take Me Out by Richard Greenberg. Uh, this tells the story of a superstar, hotshot, Major League Baseball player who comes out as gay and the aftermath as the sports community has to deal with that. Um, this play was originally written in 2003. It's a pretty quick turnaround for the revival. Um, Richard Greenberg talked about when he originally wrote it, he was writing about the soon to come eventuality of some major athletic superstar coming out and, and the way that, that community would have to address it. Interestingly enough, that hasn't really happened in a meaningful way and that makes this show even more timely here in 2022. Uh, this production itself is kind of back to basics. It's not a lot of flashy design, it's not a lot of really interesting directing, it's, it's just guys on stage. It's, it's a bunch of men on stage talking about racism and homophobia and baseball and feelings and life and, and um, yeah, so the show is good, it, it was reviewed well, people seem to like it, a little dense for some people, um, but in general it, it captures the heart of an important conversation that we are still having today. Um, but the real draw for it is the performances, and that it was captured in the nominations as well. Take Me Out earned four Tony nominations this year, one for Best Revival of a Play, and the other three for Best Performance by an Actor in a Feature Role in a Play, for Jesse Williams, Jesse Tyler Ferguson, and Michael Oberholzer. Um, all three of these guys did an excellent job. I would be surprised if Jesse Williams or Michael win. Um, Jesse Williams, was, some people found his performance a little bit understated, which might be what the character needed. Uh, Michael's was a little more over the top, but his character has less to work with. Uh, that being said, I do kind of think Jesse Tyler Ferguson might clinch this one. Um, it's a great role for him. Uh, he's a, a Broadway darling anyway. I wouldn't be surprised, to be honest, if the revival was put on for him. I know he's a fan of the show and this character in particular. And I know that Dennis O'Hare won uh, Tony for the same role back in 2003. So I think the stars are kind of aligning. This might be just Jesse Tyler Ferguson's ear, which I think is great. He did a great job uh, with a really great character. I'd be surprised if it wins Best Revival, it could, it just feels like there wasn't really enough going on. If, if it was just kind of the performances and the text, all good. But I'm hoping that the Best Revival win goes to a show that was a little bit more fleshed out with maybe a little bit more spectacle, maybe a little bit more design stuff. But good show, glad it was on Broadway, glad it was recognized, and uh, glad to be able to talk to you about it today. So thanks for watching. Uh, feel free to check out all of our other episodes that are coming shortly. Um, and uh, stay couchy, friends.